Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Corporate Ministry on this Thursday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join me as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is the second half of Psalm 147. For he has strengthened the bars of his gates. He has blessed your children within you. He has established peace on your borders. He satisfies you with finest wheat. He sends out his command to the earth, and his word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He scatters his hail like breadcrumbs. Who can stand against his cold? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows with his wind and the waters flow. He declares the word to Jacob, his, his statutes and his judgment to Israel. He has not done so to any other nation. To them, he has not revealed his judgments. Let us pray. God, our Father, great builder of the heavenly Jerusalem, you know the number of stars and call each of them by name. Heal hearts that are broken. Gather those who have been scattered and enrich us all from the plenitude of your eternal wisdom, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, we continue in our reading in, in Jeremiah, the 26th chapter. In the beginning of the reign of Jericho, the son of Josiah, uh, king of Judah, this word came to the Lord. Thus says the Lord, stand in the court of the Lord's house and speak to all the cities of Judah, which come to worship in the house of the Lord, all the words that I command you to speak to them. Do not hold back a word. It may be they will listen and every one turn from their evil ways that I may repent of the evil which I intend to do to them because of their evil doings. You shall say to them, thus says the Lord, if you will not listen to me to walk in my law, which I have set before you and to heed the words of my servants and prophets whom I send to you urgently, though you have not heeded them, then I will make the house of, of, of like Shiloh and I will make the city a curse for all the nations of the earth. The priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jer Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of the Lord. And when Jeremiah had finished speaking, all that the Lord had commanded him to speak to all the people, then the priests and the prophets and all the people laid hold of him saying, you shall die. Why have you prophesied in the name of the Lord saying this house shall be like Shiloh and this city shall be desolate without inhabitant and all the people gathered about Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. When the princes of Judah heard these things, they came up from the king's house to the house of the Lord and took their seat in the entry of the new gate of the house of the Lord. Then the priests and the prophets said to the princes and all the people, this man deserves the sentence of death because he has prophesied against this city as you have heard with your own ears. Then Jeremiah spoke to all the princes and all the people saying, the Lord sent me to prophesy against the house of this city and all the words that you have heard. Now, therefore, amend your ways and your doings and obey the voice of the Lord your God, and the Lord will repent of his evil, of the evil that he has pr pronounced against you. But as for me, behold, I am in, his, in your hands. Do, uh, do with me as you seem good and right to you. Only know for certain that if you put me to death, you will bring innocent blood upon yourselves and upon the city and its inhabitants. For in truth, the Lord sent me to you to speak all these words to your ears. Then the princes and all the people said to the priests and the prophets, This man does not deserve the sentence of death, for he has spoken to us in the name of the Lord our God. And certain of the elders of the land arose and spoke to all the assembled people, saying, Micah, Amorishka, Amaritha, prophesied in the days of Hezekiah, king of Judah, and said to all the people of Judah, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Zion shall be plowed as a field. Jerusalem shall become a heap of ruins and the mountains of the, of the house a wooded height. Did Hezekiah, king of Judah, and all Judah put him to death? Did he not fear the Lord and entreat the favor of the Lord? And did not the Lord repent of the evil which he had pronounced against them? 
but we are about to bring great evil upon ourselves. There was another man who prophesied in the name of the Lord, Uriah, the son of Shemaiah, and uh, from kirath Jeraim. He prophesied against the city and against this land in words like those of Jeremiah. And when King Jeho Jehoiakim, uh, with all his warriors and all the princes, heard his words, the king sought to put him to death. But when Uriah heard of it, he was afraid and fled and escaped to Egypt. Then King Jehoiakim sent, uh, sent to Egypt certain men, Yath um, El Elnath Elnathan, the son of Akbor, and others with him. And they fetched Uriah from Egypt and brought him to the king Jehoiakim, and, who slew him with the sword and cast his dead body into the burial place of the common people. But the hand of Achim, the son of Shaphan, was with Jeremiah, so that he was not given over to the people to be put to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading comes from Romans, the 11th chapter, beginning with verse 1. I ask then, has God rejected his people? By no means. I myself am an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not rejected his people whom he foreknew. Do, uh, do you not know what the scripture says of Elijah, how he pleads with God against Israel? Lord, they have killed thy prophets. They have de demolished thy altars, and I alone am left, and they seek my life. But what does God reply to him? I have kept for myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to Baal. So too, at the present time, there is a remnant chosen by grace. But if it is by grace, it is no longer on the basis of works. Otherwise, grace would no longer be grace. What then, Israel, failed to obtain what is sought? The elect obtained it, but the rest will harden, as it is written. God gave them a spirit, a stupor, eyes that should not see and ears that should not hear, down to this very day. And David says, let this, let this table become a snare and a trap, a pitfall and a retribution for them. Let their eyes be darkened so that they cannot see and bend their backs forever. So I ask, have they stumbled so as to fall by no means? By no means, but through their, pre through their trespass, salvation has come to the Gentiles so as to make Israel jealous. Now, if their trespass means riches for the world, and if their failure means riches for the Gentiles, how much more will their full inclusion mean? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Nothing like a little interruption here in today's morning prayer. Ah. And our Holy Gospel comes from St. John, the 10th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. There was again a division among the Jews because of these words. Many of them said he was has a demon and, he's, and he is mad. Why listen to him? Others said, there are not the sayings of one who is a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? It was the feast of the declaration of Jerusalem. And it was winter and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered round him and said to him, how long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness to me. But you do not believe because you do not believe in my sheep, belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I give them eternal life and they shall never perish and no one shall snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. I and the Father are one. The Jews took up stones again to stone him. And Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? The Jews answered me, it is, not, uh, it is not for a good work that we stone you, for, but for blasphemy, because you, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, It is not written in your law, I, I said you are God's, if uh, if he called them gods to whom the word of God ca came and the scripture cannot be broken. Do you say of him whom the father can consecrated and sent into the world? You are blasphemy because I said, I am the son of God. If I am not doing the works of my father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works that you may know and understand that the father is in me and I in the father. 
Again, they tried to arrest him, but he escaped into their, from their hands. He went away again across the Jordan to the place where John at first baptized. And there he remained and many came to him and they said, John did no sign, but everything that John said about this man was true. And many believed in him there. The gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Let justice roll down like water and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let justice roll down like water, and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Let us pray. Lord, come to us, free us from the stain of our sins. Help us to remain faithful to the holy way of life, and guide us to the inheritance of your promise, that, that you have promised. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this Thursday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day and hope to see you tomorrow as well. God bless you. Bye-bye.